What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you my Hoop Forms Best series, the Cheap Striker Edition. This is going to be episode 3, we're still in the last 16, and uh, yeah, we've got Musa versus Hernandez, so I've built this little cheap hybrid around him. Obviously, I'm titty, want to watch is pretty expensive, but uh, it is normal cards, cheap enough. So uh, yeah, it looks very, very overpowered. Of course, these two strikers are very, very good in the game if you've used either of them, so... One of the maybe favourites for the entire tournament is going to go out in this round. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Heading into game one, he's got a solid enough Premier League team. It's relatively cheap, but Bai is an exceptional defender. Remy is ridiculously overpowered. And uh, he's got his own version of Musa there as well. So anyhow, it is him who uh, opens the scoring with a lovely goal from Remy outside the box. There's just nothing to Stegen could have done about that. And then Musa sends Christian Eriksen through and uh, Umtiti isn't strong enough to stop him. And unfortunately, that's 2-0 within 16 minutes. But we do get a goal back. Um, it's a corner and uh, I managed to get the ball back with Vidal, uh, the right back that I've got from Barcelona and uh, yeah, the ball gets played back to Bellarabi and that's a very, very good finish to beat his goalkeeper. I'm not uh, sure who his goalkeeper is, I can't remember, but anyhow, Bellarabi doing some nice work on the right again, manages to win himself a penalty and uh, because Bellarabi created it, I'm just going to take it with Bellarabi because I don't want, you know, upgraded stats for Musa or Hernandez. If they do get fouled though, then of course they would take the penalty, but I got lucky with that 2-2 and um, yeah, <laughs> he gets his own bit of luck there to stay again. Terrible goalkeeping there and we end up losing that 3-2, but of course that's that's not what uh, this is about, it's about the match ratings which I will show at the end as always. So anyway, the next team we've got a very solid looking Bundesliga squad, Ribéry, D Douglas Costa, Renato Sanchez, very very good players on this game and uh, Hernandez kicks off the scoring with goal of the episode. Like, uh, we, There's some really really good goals from my opponents and myself in this video but that is definitely the best, it's such a sweetly struck strike and uh, yeah Hernandez makes that 1-0 to us but Musa gets the ball back to Bellarabi and uh, well he plays it back to Musa it's a great finesse shot and uh, that's a fantastic call one apiece for Hernandez and Musa they were honestly terrific to use I, I highly recommend you try out this team that I've built um, because Musa and Hernandez were very overpowered strikers I know I lost the first game but uh, yeah I, I, I'm just not that good at FIFA Talking about great goals, look at that. I mean, that could perhaps beat Hernandez. Is that volley from Ribéry from my opponent was just exceptional. I, honestly, I couldn't hate on that. That was just a terrific goal. But anyhow, Hernandez plays the ball to Bellarabi and uh, he slots that in. And uh, I thought I was relatively safe, but my opponent does get a goal back. I don't know what the hell goes on here. It's just ridiculous, but he manages to put it in. But thankfully... For me, in terms of my record, uh, I do win 3-2 in that game. So we've lost 1-3-2, we've won 1-3-2. We head into game three. And that is a very nice Serie A squad. He's got Nangolin, who is very good, same as Pjanic. Um, I'm not too sure about a striker Edda. I'm not sure how good he is, but... Quadrado breaks through and uh, yeah, Testegen, I'm not a fan of him, like try someone else if you are going to build this team, like Testegen was letting in shots left, right and centre, I think he's a really, really terrible goalkeeper on this, but anyway, we win a corner, uh, it, it's whipped in and we get a little bit of luck here, it rebounds off one of his players, goes in and uh, it, that's the equaliser that we needed. Now uh, Dries Mertens plays it into Pjanic and that's a lovely finish. It was really, really end-to-end -end this game and uh, it was difficult breaking him down. But Musa, right at the last kick of the game, manages to make it 2-2. So, the ratings for Musa and Hernandez that we have in game one, they both got 8.0. They are so level, it is unbelievable. Fantastic strikers. Game two, 9.0 for Musa, 9.5 for Hernandez. And game three, Musa got an 8.2 and Hernandez an 8.2. So it's fairly obvious who's won purely because of one game where he got a 0.5 higher. So the winner is Hernandez, but honestly, they are so good. And as a pairing, you can see how close they are. It was so hard to determine who was actually the better striker. They are both terrific, but uh, Hernandez edges it this time. If I was to do this episode again, I'm sure Musa would edge it the next time. Like they, they really are terrific and they work well as a partnership. So I highly recommend you try them out. Even if you don't try them out in the same team, try out their individual cards because they are absolutely fantastic. But it is Hernandez who will move into the quarterfinal. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace. Mm -hmm.